Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are fine and good at home. Be safe, everyone. I think the studies are going very nicely. You all are doing preparation for the next examination also very nicely. Whatever chapters are being taught or whatever chapters is being going on or discussing on, I think you all are trying to solve all, okay, without any problem and query. If it's problem and query you are facing, then I think that everyone is coming with that in the online classes where we used to discuss those problems together. In the last class, my dear, in the last class, we have already started the decimal, okay, and in the last class, we have discussed about the addition of decimal, isn't it? We have discussed the addition of decimal. I have told you how we used to add the numbers when it is given in decimal, okay? If they are given in unequal parts, okay? If they are given in unequal form, means unlike fraction. So, how we used to make it in unlike fraction and then we used to add it. In the last class, we discussed about this thing. Today in the race class, we are going to discuss about the subtraction of decimal. How we used to subtract the number if it is given in decimal. Okay. Means decimal when it is given after the point numbers written and they are given in after the decimal the number the points are being put. So how we will do just see. First I think you all have understood what is decimal and how we used to find the uh, like fraction compare the numbers and all these day by day we are discussing and we are moving ahead in the same chapter so that the whole chapter the whole thing about the decimal should be clear to you very nicely so this is the topic of today that is the fraction of decimal okay it's easy to do the subtraction in decimal suppose the number is given 206.6 65.80 so after the decimal how many digits are there here only one digit number and here two digit numbers are there after that what you will do you will make uh, we will make this one digit number as two digit number that is by putting the zero after six then i have write or i will write all the numbers according to the place value and it's very necessary to mention the place value upside okay it's very necessary so after that you can do what you can add 0 plus 0 when you will add that you will get 0 okay because previously it was 6 but now it is 60 because after 6 I have put 0 so we don't use to put the 0 before the number we will put the 0 after the number okay to make it equal then after that then after that I have added the second digit that is 6 and 8 okay we I have added 6 and 8 8. When I have added 6 plus 8, I have got, sorry, here we have to subtract. I have subtracted 6 and 8, but it is not possible to subtract 6 and 8. In that very case, I will take one carry from the 1's place and it will become 16. And this 6 will become here 5 because already it has given its 1. So now, 16 minus 8 you will do, you will get 8. You can see separately I have done also. In the same way, we will move ahead and then 5 minus 5 we will do. So, when you will do 5 minus 5, you will get 0. So, you can see this 0 I have written here. Then we will move to the third place. After that, again, the, uh, here we, have, we are seeing that again we have got 0 here, minus 6. So, 0 minus 6 is not at all possible. So, what you will do in that case, you will take carry from the number which is written just near to 0 and that is 2 written. So, from 2 we will take 1 carry. So, it is 10 will become, sorry, this 0 will become 10 here and this 2 will become 1 here which I have written upside down. 10 minus 6 you will do, then you will get 4 and 1 minus 0 when I will do, then I will see what I will get. Okay, till here we have now. 1 minus 0 we will do then we are getting 1. So the answer which we are getting after doing the subtraction of these two numbers that is 140.80. Okay. This is what the answer which we are getting after subtracting both the numbers. After subtracting both the numbers by taking carry we have got 140.80. See. After this what you will do. Like you can see there is a number given. In that number again you can see after the decimal here only one number here two numbers. So after 7 you will put 0 and you will make it 70. 
Now, write the decimal number and to their place where it's very necessary. Put the zeros if necessary. If it is required, if it is equal, then it is not required. Okay. If both the, 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 the digits which are given you to subtract, in that you will see if after the decimal both the numbers are equal, no need to add up zero in that. But if it is unequal, it is an unlike fraction, you have to add zero with that. After that, you have to do the subtraction work. See. You will see, see here. We can see all the place values I have written upside. Then the digits I have written. Okay. Then the digits I have written. You can see here that here this in this number I have written the numbers which I have taken. Okay. Which I have carried. Means I have taken carry. Okay. Carry number I have written upside. Carry. Whereas these two numbers are already given. I will do the subtraction of these two numbers. So, if 0 by minus 3 you will do, it is not possible. So, it will take one carry from 7 and it will become 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. In the same way, now 6, okay, because it was previously 7, but now when I have taken one from that 7, it is 6. So, now 6 minus 1 you will do, you will get 5. Now, this before the, decimal, the number which are written after the decimal, that integral part is already clear that we have already done. Now, here it is written, we have come to the number which is written before the decimal, that is the Okay, the number which is written before the decimal, that is the whole number. Now, we will add that. 7 minus 3, when you will do, you will get 4. In the same way, there it is 3 written. That 3 minus 5 is not at all possible. So, in that case, what you will do, again, you will take carry from the number which is written just near to that number. That is from the 100th place, we will take carry and it will become 13. Now, 13 minus 5, uh, sorry, yes, 13 minus 5, you will do, you will get 8. Now, the last number is left now it was previously 5 but 1 we have already taken carry so 4 minus 2 when you will do then you will get 2 okay then you will get 2 so lastly you will get the answer as 284.57 this will be the answer which you will get after doing the subtraction of these two digits in the same way, in this question also, you can see here are three numbers and here are three. There's no need to put zero in that case because already they are in equal uh, like fractions. Why? Because like decimals. Why it is a like decimal? Because after the decimal, the numbers which are written in both the places, three to digit numbers are there. So no need to put zero in that. You just have to subtract. So 1 minus 2 is not possible. So it will take the carry from the number which is nearby that. But that nearby number is 0. So it cannot give carry. So it will go to the next number to take carry. So 3 will give 1 to 0. Then it will become 10. From that 10, it will take, uh, from that 10, 1 will take 1 carry. It will become 11 and this will become 9. Now 11 minus 2 when you will do, then you will get 9. Then 9 minus 2 you will do, 3 you will do, then you will get 6. Now here in the last you can see it is 2 written. 2 minus 8 is not at all possible. So it will move to the number okay, which is at the 1's place to take 1 carry. So 5 will give its 1 to 2. It will become 12. Now 12 minus 8 will be 4 which you will get. And here you can see it is written 4. 4 minus 7 again not possible as 4 is smaller and 7 is greater. So again this 4 will take one carry from the number which is written just near to that number. Okay. So that 2 will give 1 to 4 and it will become 14. So 14 minus 7 you will do then you will get 7. Now 1 is there and downside nothing is there. So 1 minus 0 will be 1. While subtracting decimal, all the decimal points should be put one below the other. Means whenever you are writing or whenever you are writing any number, when you are subtracting the numbers in decimal, the number should be written one after another. Here you can see some of the things are there which I would like to give you a quick review so that you can remember all the things which we have discussed. Decimal fraction, fraction with 10, 100, 1000 in the denominator can be represented as a decimal number. Means 3 by 10 can be represented by 0 0.3, 462 by 1000 can be represented by 0 0.6462. Means the number of 0 which are present downside 
uh, in the denominator column according to that we used to put the numbers okay after the decimal okay we used to put the number after that if three num if one num this zero, zero is there then after the decimal there will be one number one number then in the same way as three zeros are there after the decimal there will be three number in the same way in the mixed fraction you can see a mixed decimal contains the whole number integral part and the decimal part okay and a decimal that is a decimal part you can see the number which are written before the decimal this side that is 93 that is the integral part the number which are written uh, after the decimal that is a decimal part okay the integral part is also called as the whole number okay that is also called as the whole number and the number which are written after the decimal that is a decimal part the point which we have given between that is called as a decimal point now you can see decimal places the places after the decimal point are called the decimal places after the decimal either it is two numbers one number you can see 58 is written so two decimal places are there 391 is there so three decimal places after the decimal how many numbers are there present that is all called as a decimal place okay, you can see in this one place value system decimal place extend the place value system to the right of the one place okay just see arrow is also given one example I have taken you can see after the decimal place we used to write 10th, 100th or 1000th and before that we used to write uh, 10,000 in the same way 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 lakh like this and after the decimal we used to write 10th, 100th, 1000 okay so this we used to write like it is written extend the decimal place system to the right of the ones place means it used to be extended to the right of the decimal place now expansion of decimal place expansion of decimal number we express the decimal number in the expanded form by writing the sum of the values of each digit in given number sum okay like it is written we have just expanded the number how we have expanded you can see see the number which are written before the decimal that we used to expand accordingly that we use that we used to do the numbers which are written after the decimal that we used to re represent according to one tenth one hundred or one thousand so one tenth when we are representing eight then it will become as 0 0.8 when we are representing six then it will come at 0 0.06 because it is coming at one it is coming at 100th place now in the same way when we are representing 2 so we are representing at as 1000 means 0 0.02 okay in the same way you can see this one also I have done we do not write the place value of 0 as it is always 0 keep this in your mind that we never used to write the place value of 0 because either it is decim we are writing in decimal place or either we are writing ordinary uh, place value system in both the cases 0 is 0 only it cannot change okay in the same way it is written writing decimal number as fraction write the decimal number without decimal point in the numerator and one followed by as many zeros as the decimal place in the decimal number in the denominator what it is saying that writing the number means whatever numbers are whatever means 0 0.08 is given so you have to see that how many numbers are written after a decimal according to that you have to write the numbers in fractions okay according to that only you have to write the numbers in fractions like if it is written 0 0.08 so after point how many numbers are there there are two numbers it means in the denominator column there will be two zeros okay in the same way here are three numbers so in the denominator place there will be three zeros this is how we used to write the decimal number in the fractional number now write the fractional number as decimal number the same way is there the number of uh, zero which are present downside after that we have to put the zero it means that if it is written 25 by 10 suppose and 25 you have to write in decimal so how many zeros are there in the denominator column one zero so means that from the right side means you will see that 5 is written so after 5 you have to put decimal and then you have to write 2 okay because only 1 0 is there so after one number you have to put the decimal in the same way from the last we used to see in the same way you can see here only 4 is written and there downside 
uh, three zeros are there so what you will do in that case before four we will put two zeros so that it can be equal to the number which is written downside means so that it can be equal to the fraction which is given downside so answer will come as 0 0.004 in the same way equivalent fract equivalent decimal the decimal whose values do not change even after we insert zero after the last decimal digit are called as the equivalent fraction okay means that like if it is written 0 0.7 comma 0 0.70 so and 0 0.700 are equivalent fraction all are equivalent fraction because after putting the zero also in the last decimal digit they are not changing inserting a zero after the decimal place okay there is no even there after that also there is no change now like fraction and unlike fraction like fractions are the decimal having the same number of decimal place okay in which the decimal places the number in i'm not talking about the whole number or integral part i'm talking about the decimal places so the decimal places should be equal they are called as the like fraction where in the decimal place the numbers are unequal they are called as the unlike fraction in the same way we used to do this also comparing and ordering of decimal numbers convert the unlike decimal to the like decimal first okay by putting the number of zeros in the last the integral part and decimal part of the decimal number to arrange in ascending means you have to compare then the integral part and the decimal part of the decimal number okay to arrange in ascending or in descending you can see how it is being done you can see the numbers which are written I have put the number of zeros so that it all can become equal. After that, I have arranged it ascending and descending. Ascending we are already knowing. From the smaller to the larger we will arrange. And descending means from the larger to the smaller we will arrange. So this is how we used to do all the decimals. Okay, how we used to write the numbers in like fraction. If it is given in unlike fraction, how we used to write in like fraction. How we used to make it equivalent fraction. How we used to compare the number by ordering the number in arranging and descend, or in, in ascending and descending. All these things, I think now it is clear. Okay, students, so now it, I hope that everything is clear to you and in your mind. If still queries or problem will be there, then you please see the video nicely. And if it's still it is not solved, you can come with your queries in the online classes and we will discuss it together. That is all for today, my dear. Thank you, everyone. See the video nicely and try to 